Ever since Finding Nemo had these guys cruising the EAC, they have had so much popularity around the world. But more importantly, they play a huge role in helping us understand the health of the Great Barrier Reef. I'm up here just south of Townsville with my mate Thomas the Turtle to join one of the largest turtle projects ever undertaken in Australia. The only hurdle is the turtles are out in the drink and we need them in here. How you going guys? I'm helping the team from WWF and Banrock Station as they unravel the mystery of why hundreds of marine turtles were found washed up on local beaches. So far, research hasn't found the cause, but to get the information, we've got some work to do. Captain Ian is going to race the boat alongside the turtles and then we're going to launch off the side and grab hold of them. They're really, really strong swimmers underwater, so pretty much it's a case of grabbing hold, going for a ride and seeing what happens. So uh, let's see how this goes. Turtle jumping is a test of your skills. They can grow up to 300 kilos, and unfortunately, you don't know what you're up against until you're on top of them. What are you most hoping to find from this project? Um, this project, um, what we'd really like to do is learn how we can better protect the reef. We've got scientists working around the world um, on this, this project and they'll analyse it to, to see um, what kind of contaminants that the, uh, the turtles may be accumulating. Out here, the main aim is to catch as many turtles as possible because the more info that's collected, the better the overall picture. Not enough is really known about our marine turtles. And with only one in every thousand eggs laid making it to become an adult, every single one of these animals is super important. Another foot of water. <laughs> Holy girl. That's how you do it. <laughs> it must be a great feeling getting these in each time. Absolutely, you know, I mean, this is the best part of the project. Once you've caught them, we get to take them to the beach and then it's process time. And, yeah. you know, this is the most important part with the data collection. This is what we're here for, to really find out, you know, what these, what these turtles have in them, you know, what contaminants yeah. are there. Well, let's get these guys on the ground, hey? Excellent. Each of the turtles' health is checked and the information's recorded. That's 42 and a half. Just like the rings of a tree, even the shell stores important clues as to what's going on. The turtles that are being brought in are all in different conditions of health and you can really see here between a big healthy turtle, he's um, fighting fit, compared to this little one here who you can actually see is quite a lot skinnier and uh, you can I guess essentially see his little ribs. But the good thing is though that this little one has been caught before and if you can see his little tag there in his flipper, that means that the team here can just make sure that they keep an eye on him, make sure his health is alright over the next couple of years. Turtle numbers around the world are under pressure and this work will help decision makers make better choices for the reef and of course these dinosaurs of the sea.